Beast and Corbin, hi. How you doing? Good, good. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, you should be doing good. You yeah. Have a string of really big hits. <laughs> it's been pretty good for me. Yeah, well, congratulations. It's really awesome. You have some great Thank music. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it was interesting because I was looking at your, your bio. I mean, I've enjoyed your music, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize that you have a degree in business. I do. In agriculture? Yeah. Well, yeah, ag business. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad I haven't had to use it lately, but. Like it's a degree in farming. Pretty well, sure. no, a lot of people think it is. Yeah. It's really not. It's, it's actually a business degree. I mean, it's just a straight yeah. business degree. It's just, you know, it's a business is business whether you're in agriculture or radio or, yeah. you know. Well, very cool. Well, ha have you been enjoying the last, I would say it's probably been a year and a half or so that you've just had one hit after another? Yeah, we've, uh, we've, we've had a great time out there, you know, building the fan base and getting the people more familiar with the music and, uh, you know these fans are the greatest fans in the world because they really stick with you when they when they when they like something and um, we've just we just had a great time you know getting and playing for as many people as possible. Yeah, do you remember playing in San Diego? I do with the side. with the Paisley crew yeah. out there. Yep. And in fact, because I remember watching you and during the, the the set, I think actually your strings, your guitar strings broke. It probably did. It and happens. Quite I know, a bit. and you just kept singing, and the guy was taking the guitar over your. You know, yeah, I've done that. I've, I've, uh, yeah. Wow, that is pretty good. I've, uh, yeah, I've become well at that. So yeah, I, I swear something always happens on stage. It's, it's never, it never not happens. Yeah, you were just laughing and having fun and something. just going with it. Yeah, you kind of got to do it. With it. There you go, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, is there anything that surprised you about the business in the last year and a half, just because you've had so much success? So um, much? you know, not, not really. I mean, it, it's one of those things I kind of. You know, you have your what you know about the business, and it's, it's kind of held true, I guess. Yeah. And, and now, do people say this because I've had a lot of listeners who will say, well, it just kind of reminds me a little bit about, you know, like George Strait. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've heard that a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's an honor, and, and uh, it's, yeah, it's just truly an honor. Of course, I've never been to George Strait, that's for sure. Uh, you're, you're sounding really, really good. So, um, what are you doing out here at CMA Fest? Do you have a fan? Fair going on or fan club or um, well, no, we'll be doing some autographs tomorrow for GAC, I think, and uh, then we've got uh, we'll play LP, LP Field tomorrow oh, night. Cool. So Very nice. Night. Doing the big show. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Now, do you do shots? Uh, do you today, drink? I do. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's have a shot. All right. Let's do it. It's, it's a paper the big, shot. It's a paper shot. Yeah. So, who are two people you wish you could pack in your suitcase and take with you everywhere? My grandma and my mom. Really? So yeah. So, the girls in your life, huh? Yeah, they take care of you. Oh, so. that's so nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate you it. You got it. Thank you so much. Appreciate